Hello Cancer, welcome to your love reading, a how they feel about you. This will be for those of you who already are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer watching. I'm going to be looking at the main energies in your connection, how this person feels about you and what their intentions are, what potential actions or energy they're bringing into this connection as well. So I'll start with the main energies for Cancer. I'm going to be using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck for this. And then I'll pull the other two Oracle cards just to get um, save some time. Oops. For Cancer Spirit. What's the main energy between Cancer and the person they're in a connection with? What's the main energy? cancer and the person they're in a connection with oh wow coming together destiny has brought you together reunion fate romantic feelings love it all right cancer what's at the bottom of the deck i'm just curious past life past life connection x memories you have had a connection with this person in the past I know I'm going to get some comments that if someone's not interested in the past. I feel you. I'm just telling you what cards are coming out. I can't really control what cards come out, okay? Otherwise, what would be the fun of tarot? All right, so let's get into their true intentions or feelings towards you, Cancer. Sorry. Messages for Cancer, please. What are their true intentions or feelings? towards Cancer at this moment in time. What are their true intentions? What are their true intentions? Oops. Using the Soul's Journey lesson cards for this. And then I'll be using the Enchanted map. So all the decks that I use are linked down below if you're curious. All right. What are their true feelings or intentions? My, my deck does not want to stay in my hand. What are their true feelings or intentions towards cancer? I think that one wanted to come out. Loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. Interesting. So they feel lonely without you or lonely due to something that has happened between you. What's at the bottom? Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Okay, so your person has some sort of knowledge about why they're lonely is what I'm seeing here. I also feel like this is a motivator for your person. The feeling of being lonely. Um, I feel your person is thinking about this and it's kind of like forcing them to act in a way. Or at least if it's not forcing them to act, they cannot ignore what they feel. All right. So what potential actions or energy are they bringing into this connection with cancer? Potential actions or energy they're bringing to this connection for Cancer Spirit. Potential actions or energy is this person bringing. Potential actions or energy this person is bringing to this connection. Potential actions or energy this person is bringing to this connection. Stuck in the mud. Okay, so... Your person is stuck. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I just, I feel like a lot of signs are going through kind of similar similar situations. Slow and steady at the bottom of the deck. So maybe this is just causing a delay. Whatever this stuck in the mud is, I don't think it's permanent with slow and steady. Um. And once again, I'm just picking up from this energy. It's almost like being stuck in the mud because you're moving too slow. I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm feeling very strongly. It's like, it's almost like someone is stuck in the mud because they've been taking their sweet time. They could have been out of this mud for a long, for like, oh, like a while back if they would have just kept it moving. Okay, so let's go into the tarot here. I'm using the tarot Grand Lux. I am absolutely obsessed with this deck. 
I just connected with it so uh, quickly. And I just love the art of this deck as well. Okay, so for Cancer. Now keep in mind, Cancer, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Cancer watching. Um, if it does not resonate for you, that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. Check back next week or check your other placements if they're more prominent in your birth chart. All right, for Cancer. Thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed and commented. I really appreciate it. Your likes, your subscribes and comments, all that stuff helps the channel grow. So thank you so much to anyone that participates and supports the channel. Okay. If this resonates for you in any way, please let me know in the comments. I love to know how the readings are resonating for you. So, okay, enough talking. Let's get into this for Cancer. What are the main energies in this connection spirit? Main energies in this connection for Cancer and this person. King of Wands reversed. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. You do not have to be dealing with that sign. It's just a sign that happened to pop up. King of Wands reversed. Hold on, I'm going to need my coffee for this. <laughs> Oops. So King of Wands Reverse, they tend to be, they tend to get themselves in trouble due to their own actions. Um, they can be dominant controlling energies. You know, they, they like things to happen a certain way um, and they get upset if things don't happen. Um, they like to jump into things, jump to conclusions. Um, uh, it could just be that somebody is just off balance and is not feeling very confident or energetic or like they can get something done. Maybe they lack courage. We'll see when I clarify. But when I instantly put this card down, I felt frustration. <laughs> I felt like I needed a sip of coffee. Like the energy was just so like this stuck in the mud energy. It's almost like someone stuck in the mud because their own consequences put them there. And they're not happy with that. Tell me about this main energy between Cancer and this other person's spirit. What can you tell me about the main energies here? This connection. Knight of Coin Reverse. So there's that slow and steady and the delays right there. There is a big delay here in an offer and opportunity. It's at the bottom of the deck. Judgment. Well, <laughs> Someone needs a wake up call is what I just heard. <laughs> Someone has to go through an awakening process and that's probably what's happening here. Someone's having some sort of realization about the past, looking back at the past, at their mistakes, their choices, what led them to this point. And judgment is all about kind of a rebirth, a resurrection, something coming back up. Could even symbolize a second chance uh, for a connection. So let's get some insight here um, in how they truly feel. What are their intentions or feelings towards cancer? Intentions or feelings towards cancer, please. What are their intentions or feelings towards cancer? Oh, I got two. Five of coin. Yeah. I feel like you you kind of like um left them out in the cold here, Cancer. They're feeling abandoned, lonely. They're struggling without you in this connection. Feeling like there's been some sort of a loss here with the five of pentacles. And then I have the nine of coin reverse. So again, with this feeling of like not feeling secure, not feeling independent, not feeling free of something. Um, what else? What are their feelings or intentions towards cancer? The moon reversed. Wow. Pisces energy here with the moon reversed. Some sort of revelation, something coming to light. That's that judgment card. 
I feel like there's going to be a lot of reflection. There's a four of swords at the bottom here. A lot of reflection, introspection, looking deep within, um, going over the past, reviewing things. Um, I feel like this reflection is going to bring about some sort of realization for your person with the moon reversed. It could even have something to do with the new full moon that we had in Pisces earlier this month. I think when it comes to you, there's um, there's a lack of confidence because your person has, and it's like they're stuck because of this lack of confidence. Um, there's something that's keeping your person out in the cold right now. I don't know if it's you, if it's something else, we'll clarify in a minute here. Potential actions or energy they're bringing to this connection spirit. For cancer potential actions or energy that they're bringing to this connection with cancer I want these two eight of wands wow communication movement um exciting news exciting things happening moving quickly here with the eight of wands very opposite to this stuck in the mud energy Five of Cups reverse, well, no wonder. Yeah, your person's thinking about recovery here, about either they're stuck in the past or they want to overcome whatever they lost. You know, whatever was lost here with the Five of Coin, the Five of Cups reverse is saying that they want to recover that. And look what's at the bottom of the deck again, judgment. Yeah, this is, this is part of this awakening that your person's going through. Actions or energy they're bringing to this connection with Cancer. Actions or energy they're bringing to this connection with Cancer. Can I help you? Wow, Chariot, Cancer energy, there you are. Again with movement. This has to do with movement, moving forward, moving fast. Your person's very... um. I'm telling you, they're motivated. I feel like they're motivated because they, they're they tired of feeling stuck, possibly. I have the Two of Swords at the bottom here. It's like a indecision is possibly the result of why they're stuck in the mud. I will clarify that stuck in the mud, by the way, because I'm just curious here. Let's see. Let's clarify these energies. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Cancer. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see for Cancer. What's this stuck in the mud about? Why is stuck in the mud here? Six of Wands, why is stuck in the mud here? They could be taking things extremely slow because they want success. Yeah, this is about what happened previously. Page of Cups at the bottom. It's like they want to apologize or make things right again here. Um, Again, it's like your person had a part to play in whatever ending or conversation or conflict that took place here. I get one more for stuck in the mud. I get one more for stuck in the mud. Yeah, this is this is someone that's just very delayed. In, in this, if you've been waiting for this person a long time, I think your person, it's like they have to go through a process to eventually start moving. This is someone who I feel has been hesitating out of fear. Uh, usually the Knight of Pentacles is someone who they take their time, they like to do things right, very detail oriented, um, 
they don't they don't start something that they can't finish that kind of energy when he's reversed i feel like there's a lot of obstacles in his way and sometimes those obstacles can be our like obstacles that we put there but i have a feeling that your person feels stuck in the mud feels like they're hesitating not moving because of whatever happened here with this five of pentacles whatever happened here with this five of cups reversed you know there's been some sort of a loss here for your person um there's been i feel some sort of a divide disconnect here be in this connection and so it, it's almost like it's keeping your person stuck tell me about the knight of coin reverse down here there's the knight of coin reverse down here Ooh, deception or bad communication possibly no communication here Tell me more about the Knight of Coin reverse. Empress. Interesting. So you know your value, Cancer, or at least this person does. I have the star at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius energy. Um, I feel like this is somebody that knows knows your worth, and I feel like they're either you are a wish that they have been wanting or they really want to heal this um, have some sort of renewal with their empress and then there's the wheel of fortune reverse bad timing bad luck bad, bad unfortunate events taking place here maybe your person just doesn't know how to communicate or maybe something important hasn't been said tell me more about this ace of swords reverse the ace of swords Okay, so I feel like this has something to do with, well, let me get one more. Can I get some more for this ace of, can I, oh my gosh, what is happening with my cards? Spirit, tell me more about this ace of swords reverse. Knight of wands. Someone was impulsive. Erratic, in and out, not very stable. Again, with the fiery energy. I feel like your person like jumped into things. Um, probably they said something without thinking or um, were too busy kind of um, taking this lightly to really have a serious, open and honest discussion with you. Um, possibly they told you exactly what you wanted to hear. Um, yeah, and I think that you were not okay with this. I have the Queen of Swords reverse. You as an Empress were like, I'm worth more, a lot more than this. I don't know what kind of games you're playing at or what you, who you think you're talking to. <laughs> I think you were very upset at what happened. Tell me about this King of Wands reverse. Why is the King of Wands reverse for Cancer? Tell me more about this King of Wands reverse. Yeah, someone's seeing, uh, I'm telling you, they're having some sort of enlightenment with the hangman, seeing things from a different angle and having regrets, missing you, sad or disappointed over the past. Tell me more about this King of Wands reverse. One more, please. Thank you. Yeah. They know that they screwed up here. They know that this loneliness is all due to what happened and their part in it. So tell me about this moon reverse. What's this moon reverse about? What's this moon reverse about? Oh, I got two. Five of Pentacles reversed, so wanting to recover, has some sort of recovery here, no longer struggling in this connection, no longer being shut out in the cold. But then I have the Ten of Pentacles reverse. So this is a lack of stability, lack of security. I feel like they want to make you a big offer here, 
but it's like they don't have the resources or they can't with the Ten of Pentacle reverse, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Um, this is a family, uh, financial issues, family issues, broken commitments, um, lack of stability, lack of security, you know? So it's almost like they're kind of held back here. Tell me more about the moon reverse. For some of you, you're dealing with a person that you had a family with. Three of wands. Yeah, it's like your person's waiting for the right time. You know, I have the king of cups here at the bottom. Expecting, they're expecting something or waiting for a response from you. Maybe waiting for the right time to reveal how they feel here. Three of cups reversed page. Ooh, I feel like there, if there was a third party here, your person, it's like they're waiting for the right time to get out of that. Tell me more about the moon reverse. Page of wands reverse. There's nothing here. It's like your person can't get anything started because they haven't, they need to wrap up a cycle and they haven't. There's lack of closure, unfinished business here. That's keeping your person from acting. That's what's keeping them stuck, I feel. Um, partly whatever this situation is down here. It could be uh, financial. It could be um, third party energy. It could be a broken commitment of some sort. Maybe they're not stable enough. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Where's the Eight of Wands here? Justice. So they want to communicate to make things right. Libra energy with justice. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. They're motivated. Yeah, there you are again. It's like they want to make things right with you, Cancer. And move this forward. Have success here. And this is all because of how they feel about you. They have strong emotional ties to you with the King of Cups here. Tell me about the chariot down here. Tell me about this chariot down here. What's this chariot about? Judgment reverse. What's this chariot about? The High Priestess. Major Arcana's here. All of these are major arcana. Tell me more about the chariot. One more, please. Nine of coin reversed again. King of pentacles reversed again. Four of pentacles at the bottom. I'm seeing a few things here. First of all, this high priestess, this is something that hasn't been said, communicated. This is secrets, mystery, hidden knowledge. It's like your person wants to move forward, but either they're not telling anybody or they haven't told you about this. Um, judgment reverse. I recommend that if you're watching this and it's resonating for you, please look up judgment upright and reverse. Just Google online. There's a lot of messages that might resonate with you. Um, this is a general reading, so I'm going to try to, you know, communicate as many messages as I see. But with judgment reverse, this is um, someone that is... Um, how do I say this? Almost like resisting or unable to have a, a resurrection of some sort, a rebirth of some sort. Um, it could be a delayed rebirth, a delayed second chance, or it could just be that someone here is um, still having bad judgment regarding their decisions now. Um, maybe the fact that they're keeping this to themselves is a bad judgment call, for example. Um, I have here nine of pentacle reverse, king of pentacles reverse. If you're with a third party or in a third party situation where your person is with someone else, your person is not free of that. If you are not in a third party, which I think most of you are, and a third party does not have to be another person, but in this case, I'm feeling it's either family related or like another like romantic partner of some sort. So either issues within their family, like parents, sisters, or brothers, or whatever, or issues with a, a partner that they have. That's what I'm, I'm feeling. 
If you're not in a third party though, this is someone who is not stable financially, not grounded, um, someone that's having financial difficulties in the, to the point where they have nothing to really offer you here. But I think most of you are in a third party. Just wanted to say that. I feel like whoever this is that is, um, you know, for those of you that are in a third party, I feel like your person's still holding on to something there, possibly financially, like they're motivated by fi finances and that's why they're still with their person. So that's, that's what I see so far here is, um, it's like your person wants to make things right, wants to move forward, um, wants to communicate, you know, they want to tell you how they feel that I see very clearly. However, and obviously they're thinking about coming together, you know, with you, they're lonely without you. They're missing you possibly feeling this loss very, um, profoundly, but whether it's a third party or financial resources or how badly they screwed up, which, you know, pick one of those three, it's keeping them stuck in the mud. It's slowing things down. There's a huge delay here. And I feel like that awakening is really what's going to set things in motion. You know, I feel like your person needs to realize that this Empress, which I feel is you, Cancer, is not going to take scraps. I think they know that, though. All right, Cancer, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and hopefully I'll see you back uh, with another video. Take care.